So another thing that a lot of our customers ask us about is what type of piping material and hose material to use. Now this is critical because you can use steel, you can use aluminum, but one of the cheapest things you can use that's fully compatible with our coolant is this chlorinated PVC pipe. This is Schedule 80, they call it CPVC, chlorinated PVC. The beautiful thing about this is how simple it is. These are all glued joints. Make sure that you use the right primer as well as the glue. These will uh, operate with no problem up to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's about 85 degrees Celsius. Um, and you can see that we're, we, we've got the valving, we've got all these different fittings. These are another great feature. You can get these. These are basically, you can add them to any, any length of pipe. And we use them particularly to add in all of our temperature gauges and all of our temperature sensors here. Okay, and you can see how easily they operate. We've got, we can put one on each side um, and they can go anywhere on this pipe. You just drill a hole on each side. So really efficient. Now you'll notice that we go to this flexible tube. Now this flexible tube is really important. Why? Because it allows us to do a lot of subtle bends. We can move it around, it's flexible. You'll notice that our pump cart here is on wheels, okay? That allows us to move this around, bring it up to this tank. If we have a pump failure, we can bring in a new whole unit or even an individual pump because we placed them on wheels. So the CPVC combined with this oil rated high pressure vacuum hose, okay, is very important. Again, I wanna just point out one little detail here we get a lot of questions about, hose barbs. Whenever you're using this type of tubing and you have a hose bar, please always use two pipe clamps. The reason is, is that in case of a failure, you've got a backup. If one of them loosens up, somebody bumps into this, it really makes sure that it remains fastened. The last thing you want to do is have your expensive coolant exiting through a leak, okay? Now on the water side, we're using Schedule 80 PVC pipe. Not chlorinated PVC, but PVC pipe. The reason is, is that we don't have any material compatibility problems on the water side of a two-loop system. Remember, in your two-loop system, we have a heat exchanger. We have coolant on one side of the loop. In this case, that's electric cool EC100, our dielectric coolant from engineered fluid. On this side, we've got our water pipe, okay? So over here, I can actually reduce my total cost of ownership by just going with Schedule 80 PVC pipe. Now, why Schedule 80? Why don't I use Schedule 40? The reason is, is that PVC pipe is derated based on temperature. The higher the temperature, the lower the pressure rating for this pipe. So you always wanna make sure that you're using Schedule 80 pipe in all of these systems. As I said, we're operating at about two bar. That's somewhere in the neighborhood of about 25 to 30 PSI. But on this heated side, we're actually exiting this at about 30 degrees Celsius. This temperature, channel one, is our input temperature. So our cool coolant is flowing in here at 37 degrees Celsius. Here, we're exiting the tank at 60 degrees Celsius. So we've got about a 23 degrees C temperature delta. Now we're gonna take a look at our water temperature. This is the inflowing water temperature. This is all in degrees Celsius. So we've got 70, about seven degrees Celsius, and our exit temperature is 32 degrees Celsius, about 33 if we round up. And our pump, if we look here, is operating um, at about 60% capacity. Well, once again, I hope that explanation was helpful. We're always happy to have you come and visit us here at our lab. Uh, just send an email to sales. We'd be happy to uh, set up a time sheet. We can actually walk through the tank, show you the engineering, show you the fluid, help you design your system, that's what we do.